welcome to the second review of the evening. Of this time is Super Sammy Roll. Um, Super Sammy Roll is a 3D platformer. Um, I guess, like, um, by default, it's in the style of the late 90s, early 2000s. But uh, honestly, the overall aesthetic here reminds me much more of, uh, pl like, platformer, 2D platformers of the early 90s. Like, I get a big bonk vibe from this game. Mm -hmm. you now, for example. Um, anyway, uh, Super Sammy Roll is um, a 3D platformer about uh, a, a, I guess, dinosaur? Is he a dinosaur or like a lizard? We'll go with dinosaur. All right. Um, yeah, Sammy is on a mission to help his friend Vera as he needs your help. Join him in this exhilarating, colorful 3D platformer and fast roll, air grapple, and jump to save her. Um, so, yeah, the the wicked Albert the Seventh has captured Sammy's friend Vera, and only you can help him save her. But it won't be easy. You need to roll, grapple, and jump um, to make it through the colorful 3D world of Super Sammy Roll. Embark on a journey rolling through beautiful green fields, deserts dotted with magnificent pyramids, dangerous oozing volcanoes, frigid ice lands, and mem many other memorable places with rolling physics and tons of hidden secrets. Like, so yeah, this is this is using the great big platformer playbook here. Um, like, no, seriously, it's it's the platformer fields, uh, grass, desert. Volcano, ice. Like, there's probably a jungle here or a castle themed le world. Anyway, uh, Ooh, so those, ri those right angle vines look very uh, Mario 3D world. Yeah. It's fine. Only mildly copyright infringement. If you can copyright, copyright. you know, like um, 90 degree vines. Fair yeah, enough. they're not. They don't have piranha plant heads on the end, so they're technically different. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, technically legal to get a pass legal. <laughs> is this rolling mode like default when you? It move is the steps? only move you can do, aside from tongue lashing. Yep. You cannot walk. So <laughs> good luck. I guess it is called Sami roll. Yep. Yeah. So Petty Fan was gifted this uh, game. So, um, yeah, over to him for the body of the review. So yeah, this game is rather difficult. I mean, if there's no fucking walk option. Yeah. You know, it's that. That's like having Sonic all spin dash all the time. So spin ball, <laughs> only 3D. And Looks no, like you do no. have a wall jump, at least. Yeah, yeah. you have a lot of things. And do you? Do you really? Uh, yeah, you have a stomp move, which you can use to gain height on your jump. Mm -hmm. You can um, kind of tongue lash at something and then jump to get some extra momentum. Um, if you're really quick on the tongue button, you can actually single wall jump, which is kind of neat. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so in terms of structure here, this looks like hmm, oh, how to frame how to frame this a actual platformer. Mm -hmm. That is to say, you know, you are jumping, you are. Um, going to ledge to ledge, you know, uh, and you'd think that would be obvious, but you know, take a collectathon platformer. That's less about jumping and getting to places, and more about you know actually getting the item. You know, sometimes you do get some. And there also there. don't seem to be that many. Well, they, they, there are like hazards that you could consider enemies, but most of them are. Uh not there for you to defeat they're there for you to avoid right and i'm seeing like uh, gems or coins or something yeah else. those coins if you're in the higher difficulties you can gain time so like because uh, normally there is a timer so yeah 
Uh-huh. The um, coin stopped the timer from ticking down. So does this game have a live system? Not really. Which is good because yeah. you look like you're losing a lot of lives here. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I imagine like, if this was, like, 90s era where I had had to do with lives and stuff, I'd be throwing a controller. Potentially. Unless they, unless they did that thing where, yes, there are lives, but also uh, it's running really out of lives get... and using a continue is exactly the same as losing one life. Yeah. Except or, you know, they give you, like, lives. 99 lives easily. You know, looking at you, Mario 64. Like, uh, now, do you actually encounter any actual enemies that you have to fight? Um, I haven't found anything I have to fight, but there are enemies that can delay you mostly or in it inadvertently knock you into a pit. Like those black puddles that uh, had trap-inch heads in them in yeah. the previous stage. I was counting that as an enemy. Yeah, those can hurt you, but... They won't kill you. Yeah. At least not also, directly. Um, yeah. Also, how to put this? Um, maybe secrets of game design, but this game is also harder than a 2D platformer because you have to take into account that third dimension. You know, uh-huh. it might seem, once again, it might seem obvious, but, you know, you have to make, you have to calculate your jumps not just in terms of horizontal. But, you know, how wide it is. And, you know, like you're seeing Petty jump in, you know, jump past that um, one ledge a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and some of that is because you have uh, pretty extreme momentum yeah. when you're rolling. Yeah, funny how that yeah. works. I mean, it's, you know, it seems to have some of the control issues that a lot of Sonic clones have. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. Oh, a lot of uh, control issues that Sonic himself has at s- certain points in his career. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, and trans and like transferring to 3D, it gives you a whole like you have to worry about looking at actual depth in terms of figuring out which way you need to go next, yeah. rather but than yeah. have, being able to have it all laid out. Yeah, and speaking of layout, this is definitely more say, Super Mario 3D World, not just in terms of, like, vines, but in terms of, you know, structuring a stage. Uh, yeah, not... it's, it's, it's a 3D obstacle course. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, in which you are mostly moving in one dimension at a time. Mm-hmm. And it's got the clear pipes. Yes. No. I'm like... Of course, it, it it doesn't have the precision or polish of that, but you know, Look, what does? We can't, we can't afford everything from Mario 3D World. <laughs> oh, only most of it. Yeah, yeah, Mario 3D World at home. Mario 3D World at home. <laughs> oh, so, apparently there is some kind of boss encounter here. Oh, it's Donkey Kong. Question or mark? Did Diddy, Diddy Kong with fancy hair? It's Fakey Kong. And he's got... Nah, Bob's... He's yeah, yeah, and he's got Wario's car for some reason. So do you have to hit the missile back at him or just drive it into him? I'm uh, going to wait. I'm going to wager he's got to get the missile to hit the the guy. Yeah. Yeah, so just... Oh, yeah, and then, and then hit him on the head. Yep. Easier said while than it, done. This, yeah. <laughs> oh. So how's the performance on this thing? Um, so far it's decent. And how far have we gotten in the game? Um, this is, should be the end of the first world. Huh. See. There we go. That's one way to hit him. Yeah, and any uh, notes on the music? Um, it's your regular, like, you know, retro-ish stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many times I need to hit this dude. I mean, you'd think, like, three, since... You'd think, like, three, but 
Yeah, the, the, yeah certain the, platformers... The rule of threes is very much an unwritten rule. I know. And that's more... Oh, I guess it is threes. Yeah, told you. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway. so they got okay, so they got that approximately right. <laughs> Albert the seventh. Yeah. I'm like, I suppose that begs the question: What happened to Albert's one through six? But it's probably not important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so in terms of pricing, this game clocks in at fourteen ninety nine. Um, it's got the soundtrack available for four ninety nine, and the bundle is seventeen. Oh God! Huh? Play alone or with up to three? But okay, that's is that a, that is that a sub game? Um, it's not, it's not let let there be three other players with you on the stage. I, I hope. I, I'm concerned. Or if it is, they better fucking pass through each other. Yeah. Uh, apparently that split screen. Okay, yes. Okay, Marvel Race is a sub game accessible from the main menu. Okay. <laughs> we anyway, about watch had somebody have an aneurysm. Anyway, Petty. Look, I have mm. watched Naka and Ogre play Mario 3D, the Mario 3D games, and the 2D games. Yeah, that was painful. Well, the, well, the 3D game, well, the the new games, I guess, are the ones that let you pick up your party members and chuck them into the lava. Anyway, Petty, yes. um, is this game worth uh, fourteen ninety nine or seventeen dollars ninety eight? Um, it really depends on if you're into the whole retro, almost masochism tilt <laughs> to it. Yeah, because yeah, these stages are quick, but checkpoints are few. If nothing else, it's got novelty on its side Mm -hmm. because, you know, there aren't a ton of 3D platformers out there. Indeed. Anyway, anything else to report on Super Sammy Roll? Uh, Not really. It's a game that you can apparently play. (laughs) Well, (laughs) for the monies. I mean, overall, it looks fairly charming, but it also doesn't look like it controls great. No, like it, it's like I said, it, it looks like it has the, the you know, a, a lot of the problems that, um, say, Bubsy had. Maybe not specifically Bubsy, but, you know, it's like, you know, the, the game wouldn't control great or you integrate Mario gameplay with Sonic gameplay. That's what Bubsy did. It didn't work at all. No digital foundry. Bubsy is not a good game. Yeah, anyway, I also hear the uh, um, three difficulty modes. Relaxed, mm-hmm. most levels have checkpoints and there's no time limit. Normal, most there is a time limit and most levels have checkpoints. Advanced, um, levels do not have checkpoints. Perfect for players who want a real challenge. I'm going to stay with relaxed, thanks. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this anyway. this game is hard even on... Um, relaxed. Yeah. So yeah, this this is a game. Any any other questions, comments, fears? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that'll about do it for Super Sammy Roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, be sure to tune in after the break as the Galics will be reviewing the Forgotten City. <laughs> 